Les dépenses militaires s'accroissent et la course aux armements s'accélère au niveau mondial, notamment dans les régions les plus dangereuses. Disarmament concerns every country and all weapons, from hand grenades to hydrogen bombs. Deadly weapons put us all at risk, and leaders have a responsibility to minimize that risk. I appeal to all states, including non-parties, to adhere to the non-proliferation and disarmament obligations and commitments under the NPT. All states, nuclear and non-nuclear, must work together to bridge the gulf that divides them. As armed conflict has moved from open fields into cities, explosive weapons are particularly deadly for civilians. And these weapons also have a devastating effect on hospitals, schools, and water and electricity supplies. If uh, there is a major outbreak of armed conflict in our world, and we all hope there is not, I'm sure that it will be preceded by a massive cyber attack. And I'm prepared to make available my good offices to prevent conflict resulting from acts committed in cyberspace. And social media offers unprecedented tools to connect, to reach across borders, and join with others around the world through campaigns, non-governmental organizations, and online communities. The United Nations would like to work with you to help you acquire the knowledge and skills to amplify your voices and lead the change we need. Disarmament prevents and ends violence. Disarmament supports sustainable development. And disarmament is true to our values and principles. <laughs>